Him speaks. He lives. He wants to stop the brain drain. <laughs> Good afternoon, Patrick. Yes, he does. And not only that, the government has actually been working of Albania with the British government for a number of years to try and deal with the channel migrant crisis. So what you have so far, you've had an investment from the UK of about three million pounds working with UNICEF to try and persuade the teenagers that it's better to stay in Albania. You've had our border force and security staff working at the airports to improve their ability to track passports and those leaving the country. You've had British money being spent in Albania to try and improve security at the ports. And now we have a deal with Albania to take out any Albanians that we capture here from the boats or on the backs of lorries and be able to return them back to Albania very quickly. So this is an issue that both countries recognise is really serious. But then you have to ask the question, why are they leaving Albania? Why are they leaving Albania? Well, the, according to <laughs> reports that I've seen from the Home Office, there are a number of factors. One is the very obvious one, Patrick, is that there's no jobs in northern Albania where most of these people are coming from. Secondly, there is toxic masculinity issues in northern Albania. Yes, political correctness language is getting in there too. Thirdly, there is real movement with the people traffickers and gangsters involved in the cocaine and marijuana trade, as, long, as well as those working slightly differently with the gangs on sex crimes and moving a high-end cars, which are, we've now seen an increase of those being stolen here to order. So you've got those four levels of criminality. And so the people traffickers and the gangs are behind the movements of lots of northern Albanians into the UK.